that there. there. There you go. Tina Barnett, Art Salvation. Oh, double clap. You said double clap, 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 you said. It's all right, I'll be all right. <laughs> Welcome to the Chairwood Podcast with me, Simon Burridge. And me, Rachel Burridge. Oh, hey, Tina. <laughs> oh, boob on the old. <laughs> We've got a bit of boobage. Right, hello. hello. Got Tina here from Art Salvation. <laughs> what brings you this way? Let's not talk about you yet. All right. <laughs> How long before that falls off the wall? One minute, 53 seconds. One minute, 53 seconds. doesn't have any one, faith in one it. Minute, <laughs> one minute, 53 seconds. Yeah. You, you seen me put three bits of tape on it. Yeah, but you didn't do it very well. Oh, no, because you're crafty, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> so we're going to go to our sponsors, and when we come back, it, the timer will start. Boom. I'm, I'm scared that it's going to fall and hit her. I, I don't care. <laughs> it will hit the chicken. <laughs> so we're going to go now and come back. Today's sponsors are... De Giorgio Properties, your premier choice for expert building solutions. From concept to completion, trust them to turn your dreams into a reality. Visit their website today at degiorgiosproperties.com. De Medici Associates, chartered structural and civil engineers. Based in the UK with a worldwide reach. Visit their website on demediciassociates.com. Right at Home Medway, providers of safe and trusted quality care for adults in the comfort of their own home. Whether you need companionship, medication assistance, personal care, living care or more, we've got you covered. Visit rightathome.co.uk forward slash Medway or call them on 01634 979 0. And we're back. I don't know why I click. I don't know. And we're back. And there we are, Tina. What brings you this way? You asked me. <laughs> She said no, but you still yeah. carried on. You kept stalking me. Uh, so tell us about yourself. So what's your name and where do you come from? Um, I, my name is Tina Barnett and I come from the same mother as you. Oh. <laughs> That's why we're both leading mental. <laughs> I've worked out I'm not allowed to swear within the first five minutes of YouTube. Oh, right. Otherwise they don't give me money, apparently. They don't give me money anyway. But... Bit, I bet you're skin. <laughs> Yes, I am skin. So, oh, that's the usual. Leave the phone on. Every time. Oh, my 60 word. something podcasts. And he moans at me that I don't talk into the mic. You've managed to do 60 of these with him, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Jesus. Yeah. And every time he has to go, oh, sorry, I've left my phone on. <laughs> and I'm talking in the mic. You are, which is a nice surprise. <laughs> but your thing is, this is what happens, right? Mm -hmm. She plonks that drink down right next to the mic, and the mic was attached to this. Good, uh, um, and then it good. Um. So what I did, I've got another table, oh, right? right. Uh, I've mounted the mic to a different table. So what she do? She sticks a drink on the little table. <laughs> good, -oof, good, -oof. Not, every time. Not that he's actually, you know, bitter about this or you know anything like that. Well, I'm the one that has to sort the sound out. It's not my problem. <laughs> Anyway, Tina. Yes. So your name is Tina. Mm -hmm. And what is your company? <laughs> I can't be serious. I know. I knew this was going to happen. Art Salvation. But it's got different parts to it. So what? do you want me to tell you those parts? Go on then. Yeah. Okay. So the first part is... Um, like the craft, I, I, I'm on Create and Craft. So, so I Create and Craft is a channel. Yeah, it's a um, a channel on Sky TV. It's on Sky, it's on everything. Yeah, and it's on, um, It's yeah, it is actually. But is it a part of Sky TV? Um, no, I think it's, it's just a channel. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you say Sky TV then? Because that's how she yeah. watches it. Are they paying you? No. It's just you use a Skybox to watch it? Yeah. Right, okay, well, or I don't. Or Virgin Media or whatever. It's on Freeview. What channel on Freeview? Freeview. Um, I think it's 85. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. It used, to be, it used to be 17. You didn't think I was, no, 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 I didn't Richard. think you know. And what <laughs> channel is it on Sky? Um, 673. And what's it on Virgin? That I don't know. Ah, there you go. I think it's around the 800s, but I'm not sure. And do you, do you reckon you can watch it online as well? Has it got... Um... Yeah, if you go to uh, createandcraft.com, oh. um, then you can watch it live or you can watch um, Catch Up. Okay, yeah. so what do you do on creating craft, Tina? <laughs> Apart from um, saying sentences that you make me say in my, when I'm talking. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> We're on the early days, yeah. you've done it for about four or five years now. Four years, yeah. yeah but on the terrible. early days, I used to say, you've got to slip this in. Yeah. Um, that sounds wrong. I used to yeah. say it on the early days with Rach as well. Um, and I said no. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, Tina said yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what were the words I used to get you to do? You, Tangible, because um, that's one of my favourite words. A 2B pencil was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first one. And then um, Cherrywood Productions. You had to break it down, didn't you? You went yeah. cherry. Oh, yeah. Wood. I said, oh, look, look at this colour. It's a beautiful cherry wood. And the production of them is so brilliant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So like, you know, I did manage to get it. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping more of a plug than... Um... <laughs> No, I have to be good. But, um, yeah, so on the channel, I work for different companies, um, and then I show them how I show people how to use the the company's products. Yeah. So it could be mixed media, it could be paper craft, it could be um, embroidery, it could right. be anything. Do you want to talk about the companies you represent? Graphics Forty Five. Graphic Forty Five. Did I get it right? Yeah, oh, Graphic yes. Forty Five. They're, they're one of the um, the biggest uh, paper companies in the US, and they are just loved. I mean, a lot of the time. Um, I, I'm, I, before I come on screen, they um, have started to sell already, you know, because they're that good. They've got such a following. Um, but, you yeah, know, I absolutely love it. And I, I try to send things out sometimes, like on the TV. So if somebody sort of like emails in and they're doing a particular album or something like that, then I'll give something away or something like that. You know, right, so we okay. try to do that as well. Just to, you know, just to make it a little bit more sort of like um, human. Do you know what I mean? We are, mm. it's, it is only like me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And yeah, it's not like, like she's, she's not trained in any way right, to present, are you? No. On your first no, day, absolutely. you were just someone that's been crafting for yeah, years. Yeah, I had to go and have a screen test. And, um, and how did you get through that? <laughs> Such an arse. <laughs> right. So I had to have a screen test and um, we Which had to. positive? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I knew this was going to be a bad <laughs> idea. No, the screen test was, um, I had to make, like, I, I think I took something mixed media wise and um, I had to make, you know, something and explain what I was doing as I was doing it. And um, in actual fact, they said uh, I did really well and they thought it, it, it wasn't like it was my first time on TV. It was like it was like my third or fourth time on TV. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, but the thing is, is I kind of know that the <clears> audience <throat> is there, but you forget and I forget where Just I don't am. Bother me. Mm. Don't bother no, me. No, absolutely doesn't That's bother what me we, either. we do here. It's more like a chat. So, like, there's people say, oh, they just want to get famous. I forget that the camera's even rolling sometimes. Absolutely yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah. Right. absolutely. Well, yeah. I am actually yeah. on TV. Because, because I mean, I've, laugh, I've been really. so near the mark sometimes in, like, replying with a joke. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That you think, oh, gosh. You know, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. I've got stuff. Yeah, but yeah. your channel has main host, doesn't it? And they're sort of, they're sort of keeping the, the session going. Mm. Yeah. While you're doing the craft, exactly. I, I made clearly... one close call. Yeah, they... <laughs> one close call because they they count down like um, the floor manager counts down um, for the presenter to then start, and um, the floor manager at the time um, was this young girl, and I, I'd gotten so well with her, Bernie, and um, she. Have a weekend with I can't. Her? No. <laughs> oh Did you get it right? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> weekend at Bernie's. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right, so um, we were having a laugh beforehand and she did something and um, I can't remember what presenter I was with. But anyway, the um, the presenter said something and I said, no, Bernie, don't do that because she's a bitch. And they went, and lie. <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> lie. And I was like, oh. <laughs> you can see the shock <laughs> on my face. You know, because anyone just said like, oh, she's a bitch. You would have thought, oh, what is yeah, she doing? Yeah, yeah. But no, it apparently it didn't go out. But um, yeah. yeah, that was that Did close. Did they say anything to you after? No, they, they didn't they actually. Because no, yeah. you think it's a massive production sort of studio and all that, but there's only about four or five of you there at the most, isn't there? There is, um, you have the director and the producer that are in like mm. the um, gallery. So they're not in the actual, um, mm. you know, an, on the actual set. So um, they're, they're not going between one camera and another. No, they, there's about eight cameras in front of you. Mm. And then they've got, the director's got control eight. of them. Yeah. Control of them. So I've got mm. an overhead camera as well for when I'm oh, working. That, yeah, that yeah. must be all that. And then well. like the director um, will sort of like zoom in on different things. Um, so all I, the only person I'm with really is the presenter and the floor manager. And right. then you've got other people sitting up on different sets. So what's the mm. floor manager doing while this is going on? Just holding the clipboard, watching? No, the floor manager's setting up other things, um, oh, bringing right. in stuff that, you know, the, the producers next session. like. How long are you on for, an hour or yeah, half hour? Yeah, an hour. Do you have They're anything, all live as well. Do you have anything in your ear to say, hurry up, hurry up, or anything like you that? You can do. Um, they won't give me one, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think it's... 
<laughs> easily distracted. I would struggle with it. I You'd think sort of, yeah. I would struggle. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's a bit like being a drummer, that is. It's yeah. a bit like being a drummer because they're doing a load of different things at once. I don't think I'd be able to present. I know I've got something here at the moment. Yeah. But that's but only because I'm listening to what yeah. we're knocking out, which is yeah. appalling, by the way. You're all, it, you're all going above the limit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, someone telling me something while I'm trying to. I mm. think Taste. um you, get you know you can it, you can tell on on some presenters you know you can sort of like know when they're they're being talking to you yeah. but they're like you know being yeah. instructed to do something yeah. but they do it so well I mean I get on absolutely brilliantly with all of them I really do I love mm. it yeah. so you you've got you're making your craft you've got mm. the camera here yeah. have you ever sort of messed up on it and gone Shit, oh, how, do, how do I yeah. get out of this? I think you've yeah. just got to own it though, haven't you? Really? Oh, I did. I always do. I can. I never lie. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I never lie. And I was doing this thing when I was stamping something and I'd got ink down the side of my hand and of course that was going on the page and then I'd put ink somewhere else and that was going on the page and I said, yeah, so you stamp it like that and then it looks absolute rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because it did. <laughs> it did look. I said, just make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> like, don't get ink on your hands. And I said, it's absolute rubbish that was like that. And of course oh. the presenters just laughed. Right. Thing, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I always do. Um, or if I'm doing something, I'm, you know, and I know that it's, I've not got a piece of equipment with me. Mm. Oh, 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 yes! That's a first. It's only half but, of it, that. Yeah, but how long did you say? <laughs> One minute fifty. That's oh. way past. Yeah. I've never had it do that before. That's a first. Look at it. It's half, half on, half off. I can't even say the words. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one Tane oh. must be a relation type ball I don't know um. <laughs> yeah so um, yeah so if um, if I know I've not got a piece of equipment with me then you have to climb quickly think in your head what you, can you use yeah. do you know yeah. other than that piece of equipment that you forgot to bring with you yeah. you know mm. so you, you do have to think quite quickly one of the biggest things is you do prep like your demos but then if something sells out you have to change what you're going to do so you have to be prepared to... So that could be quite quickly if Oh, my God, out. I've had one that... So we went along the counter first. We always start off going along the counter. So, so it's sort of like a QVC of craft, it, Yeah, it? oh, absolutely. Yeah. So you go along the counter and you're, you're talking about each item. And I've had one where I've gone along the counter and it's been selling out as we've been talking about them. Yeah. So when I've come back, I've like literally like... Gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So Graphics 45 is one. Yeah. Um, I recently... Um, like had my own stamp collection with Oakwood as well. So okay. it was my own designs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you've yeah, got, you, you so... got your mug shot on the back, isn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what yeah. they got on them? Different they're, stuff. They're, and... yeah. um, am I thinking umbrellas and stuff? Yeah, think One was an umbrella because Ted, love him. He's, um, that's our yeah, when I first um, did my first set, he come up to me and he said, I've had an idea for your stamps. I said, what was that then, my darling? And he said, an umbrella. <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay then. No That's reason. A, no. <laughs> I, I'll try that. So we did this one, which was sunshine and showers, luckily. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I put an umbrella on there and he was over the moon with it, loving, oh. wasn't he? So, I think they've got a copy of it. Yeah, they home. have. Yeah. 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 So, um, but no, they, I mean, they love doing the stamping and they're really good mm. at it as mm. well. And they're popular your brand, are they? Um, yeah. I mean, they sold out. So okay. my first um, collection. So did, did you sell them on TV? Yeah. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, my first ever. Shows you how much I watch my yeah, sister. No, no. <laughs> my first ever collection was like you know when you go like this with your your hands, yeah. like to make the heart. Well, yeah. it was too, it was my hand. You should do that to me. <laughs> yeah, I should do. <laughs> That's it. Like this is for my brother. It go. <laughs> Didn't even make it on TV. It sold out before. Oh, oh, just, just for Simon Burridge. This is the like thing for Simon Burridge. Boom, gone. God, can you imagine the collection in that? Yeah. Like, it'll be yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> All the signs. <laughs> and boom. Yeah. yeah. So, uh. yeah. So, um, where you, you make like the uh, thing like that, what I did is I actually photographed my own hands, like, you know, in that shape. And, um, how did you do that? that? With one hand. With, with oh, one right. One okay. Because uh, if you're doing that. <laughs> Separately. Separately. <laughs> and then I'd love um, to have seen that. And then I took it and I made a line drawing from right, it. Okay, and then yeah. that was the first stamp. I mean, that was I was doing that for about five years. I made that five years ago and kept adding sort of different bits to it. And then when I showed um Oakwood, they was like, Oh yeah, let's go for it. And it sold out. So Oh, that's good then. So I don't know how to score this, Tay. I don't know how to score it. So half of it went anyway. about seven minutes. <laughs> I think I win because it comes like two lots. No, nothing oh. like that. 
<laughs> comes two lots. Isn't it? Right. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> no, only you are um, the one that's got the dirty mind. Right. <laughs> Uh, other ones, I didn't hear the second. Back. I, I so remember that was graphic, Oakwood. Graphic, oh, Oakwood. Oakwood, yeah. Yeah, um, I have done some for um, the Little House of Victoria, which is embroidery. So I'm really big into hand embroidery. Oh, you've got at the into moment. all that now, haven't you? Yeah, hand embroidery. I do lots and lots of different um, courses on that, and that's one thing that I really want to carry on with because um, I love all like the military style embroid mm. embroidery so all of the gold work and stuff like that. So yeah, you have we to really gonna... concentrate on that, don't you? Because it's so Oh, yeah, finicky, yeah, you have to. Like I that, mean, yeah. I have like um, this daylight, and then it has a magnifier on it as well because right. sometimes you know it is quite hard to see, and you mm. can't you can't embroider it for too long because your eyes do sort of you know sort of go out of focus. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing like a military um, one at the moment, and also um, I'm doing monogramming. So, oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that? Like initials and mm. stuff like oh, that. All right, okay, like calligraphy type stuff. Um, it's like it depends. It's like a calligraphy. Oh, sorry. Sorry, style. Just, she does it all the time. Don't and I um, you you know, it's just your lettering, so you can mono, like you know, people like monogram their towels and stuff like oh, that. Right, yeah, okay. but so this is just kind like, of yeah. like yeah, something bigger. Oh, so right, if okay. I need anything, because Tilly's has to have um RGS on her shirt, I could just buy a blue one, and Tina can do it for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Mm. Give them tips. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Um. We were going to get do pottery together, weren't we? That was going to oh, be a laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, you, and my other sister, Sally, who was going to be here, but she'd rather go yoga than yeah. support you. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, Can would. I go to yoga? <laughs> oh, cheers, Rach. <laughs> oh, here, my Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we were. I, I did end up doing it. But COVID kicked in, didn't it? It did, did COVID yeah. Really? And I just had a yeah. thought. We'd get some, a potterist person. Pot, pot, well, pot, potterist? And we can all do it's it. a potterist. That's a... <laughs> Poltergeist, <laughs> Pottergeist, um, Potterer, Potterer, Potterer. That's not right. Harry, Ceram Harry Potterer, Harry Potterer, ceramic person. Is that what it is? Yeah, well, they're ceramic. Clay, they? clay worker. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what to, Mr. Claypole. Right. What are you I actually getting up? We get them in here on a podcast and we do we make stuff live, not live, or what, while we're filming. Three of us and like right, we can well. get we just try and get a potter in, yeah. Yeah, oh, that'd be good. That'd be funny. That'd be like that would be really funny. <laughs> I did. Like, See, we were after just food people, weren't we, right? So we could eat stuff. <laughs> like cake people or yeah. wedding cake people. Yeah. Just go, oh, we'll try this and oh, try that. We have got a cake person coming, but they did they have to blow out? I can't remember. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. And they've, they've rebooked, though. Yeah. Yes, they've rebooked. Because you went, you went at the wedding party, oh, we need to rebook you. They went, you already have. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, right, yeah, 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 I knew that. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, no, we did, didn't we? Because we booked for it and then COVID happened and we couldn't yeah. do it. So was you going to just was... you three or your mum as well? No, Me, just, Sally, right. Tina. Yeah, just the three of us. But it had been like a ghost. Uh, no, we, did... you did. And that, like... I could just right. see you. Just no, he come up behind me and he had his shirt off and he went like that around me, like as if we had and like touching a pot. And he made me do a photo like that, and I was like sick for ages. I stripped tease for mum again the other day. Oh, well, we haven't seen her because she was in Cyprus with you, wasn't she? And um, Sally was on the phone buying an oven. I don't know. <laughs> I've steamed in, dropped my cax, started gyrating my bum in front of mum's face. She loves it. She loves Bless it. Her. She was slapping it. <laughs> Yeah, to get you away. Yeah. Not, uh, not I thought she was room. enjoying it. No, absolutely <laughs> like not. All right. My poor mum, the things you do to a lover, like making her do aerobics on a, a bed, her electric bed. <laughs> Doing crunches. Yeah. I was just moving the front and back up at the same time. Yesterday we were telling her about Ted's karate and he went, oh my God, please come with us. Because in karate you can have like a family session. Yeah. Imagine mum and... doing it with a Zimmer frame. Yeah. <laughs> he went, mum, you've got to come with us. No, oh, lover. <laughs> Mm. Uh, with a gear on, full karate outfit. <laughs> She's like Yoda, wouldn't she? She'd just be walking out slowly, and all of a sudden, well, she do like, like, she like, like Yoda, Yoda doesn't yeah. she? But then she'd do a load of karate moves, and then just walk back out again. <laughs> anyway, where are we? What are we talking about now? So that's your TV stuff. Mm -hmm. And do you want to talk a bit more about what it is? It's stamps. It's mixed media, isn't it? So yeah, tell so people what mixed, mixed media mixed is. Mixed media is. Um, if you are making like something and you use two um, or more media, mediums, so, oh, so, so for, stamps yeah, and so it feathers. could be stamps, yeah, and feathers if you like. Yeah. It, it, Why I did wanted you think feathers. Of feathers. I think I was going to say leaves, but <laughs> it came out feathers. I would love 
for you to sort of do a demonstration and then sort of like have me and Simon here trying to sort of copy your work. <laughs> it's a feeling, you know, like the child does and they just paste it like that and then just stick a leaf on it and go, Mum, look what I made today. That's what it's this would be. Like. Yeah, my mum would like it. And, <laughs> and she, she would put it up it. on the wall, yeah. Well, she still <laughs> has that flipping angel on top of the Christmas oh, tree that, that angel, was 50 years old. Bog or roll, <laughs> bog roll um, with wings. Yeah. It I'm looks like bog- its eyes are popping out of its head. A bog roll core with wings, yeah. and the head was just like it's got um, doily uh, wings. Yeah, it's got it like a little um, what do you call ping pong ball head? Yeah, and then it's got like um, oh, what you, cotton wool eyes, <laughs> but the eyes are kind of drooped down here like this, and one of the wings is off. She still got the Oxo Cube dispenser. I made that forty nine, uh, thirty nine years ago. Really? She still got it. Yeah. Cube it's, it's a classy thing. Right. You stick it, it on a wall. Dispenses oxo cubes. Yeah, you stick it on a wall, and you put oxo. Cubes, it's made of wood. You put oxo cubes in it, and they drop to the bottom, and then you pull them out the bottom, and then the next one comes down. Oh, oh you want no. that, didn't you? No, it's <laughs> it was good. I get mum to leave it to no. you. And she's got she's got a key ring with SB on it. Mm. Remember the leather key ring oh, I made? Yeah. That? Yeah. That's thirty nine years old. Yeah, because you're slightly dyslexic, and you meant to say bullshit. <laughs> no, I think you find that's my initials. And I, I probably originally made it for myself <laughs> and thought, I haven't got a birthday present or something. <laughs> so I'll go and get some go, candles. Mum, yeah. the, toothbrush, <laughs> the shop's out of toothbrushes yeah. and candles. That was the, that my mum and dad say, said that was the best present I ever got. Because <laughs> I went and got it myself for the first time. I didn't know what to get them for their birthday. So I bought dad a toothbrush <laughs> and mum some candles. Yeah. Like birthday we candles. We all proud and we are like, what did you get? And he showed us me and said, I went... <laughs> Okay, so we ended up having like sweets with it. As well. <laughs> I even know where I got it from, Perry Street. That shop in Perry Street, no longer there. It was next to the hardware shop. Remember, there was like a I don't know what it was. Mm. And no one cares anyway, do they? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So okay. mixed media. Yeah, it's one, one, two or more mediums. So you, you know, if you're doing like acrylic paints, and then you add some, I don't know, some sand onto that or something yeah. like that, then that's mixed media. And it can be flat or it can be like built up. I, my The mixed media that I like to do is 3D. So it's right. all built up. MDF, a lot of MDF in it. MDF, Thin MDF. Wood, right. Yeah, wood, anything. Right. So what's your favourite media to use then? Oh, um, I love, I, I do love um, using like any mixed media thing. So texture pastes mm. and um, gessos and... Um, what's a gesso? Gesso is like... A, it's you can get it white or um, black or grey or even clear, and it's a base that you put down first, mm. um, and then you can put your mediums on top of it. But it does lots of different things. So even if I'm working with material, then I can put gesso over that and make my material into a harder sort oh, of like thing. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, use resin a lot as well, didn't you? I? I, do. I want to try. I've, I think I can make a lot of mess with resin. Right. <laughs> no, honestly, I've seen people make tables out of resin. I yeah. love all that. Well, no, they um, them, so they get loads of bits of wood and they sort of make a table frame. So next time and then they pour, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then they pour re- resin into it and it makes like a sea and a beach from it. I love yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. So no, you're telling me next time I have to go to Devon, I have to get you like driftwood and stuff and bring it home yeah. for oh, you yeah. to do. Oh, don't worry, babe. When I look at you, I just think it's driftwood. Okay. When you when you're using resin, you've got to have it encased in something. So if you're yeah, doing a table, then, yeah, because yeah. you, you have to have, have to make sure it's completely sealed and stuff mm. like that. Mm. I mean, I've done lots of things, I've, and I've made, um, uh, <laughs> I've made um, what do you call it? Um, oh my god, fish. No, what what do you call? You made it? little you're, fish. Yeah, I've made little fish, but um, phone holder. Well, you've chess. Oh. A chess set. Oh, yes. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. chess set. So and drafts. Did I, did I make it for us? Drafts, I? chess, yeah. phone holder. I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Um, fish. little fish. We had loads of those fish ones. Yeah, the koi we? ones because um, Ted loves the. He used koi to nick ones. them every time he came <laughs> he used out. To go yeah, to bless him. And go, oh, what have you got today, Ted? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love him. We've only just managed to get rid of them. Yeah, just managed to do that. You haven't got really redid the now. bathrooms. Like now, the fish. Where are they now? In the um, art cupboards. So oh, big. what? So we haven't got actually rid of them. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, we use it as mixed media, won't we? Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can do, you can use anything really in mixed media because it, even if it's not the right colour, then you're, you're you're putting it on a piece and then mm. you're covering it with the gesso. Do you mm. know what I mean? And then you make it into the colour that you want it. That's what I love about it. Mm. And when um, me and Sal used to have like the the shop. Um, 
like in Birchington, we used to do workshops and we used to do like a mixed media piece. It might be like a box with different things in it or it would be like um, a frame, you know, like a canvas. And then it would have like a piece down. it. And I used to show them saying, this is what we're going to be doing. And they'd be like, oh, no, you know, that's that's, that's impossible. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I've never done this before. I'm never mm. going to be able to do that. And I so said, I guarantee you, you're going to love what you do when you leave here. Mm. And um, everyone absolutely loved it. And you just smile on their faces when they've made this piece. And that's the best thing. That's the best mm. thing about showing people what to do is to say, you know, they don't think they can do it. But, oh, my God, when they do, it's amazing. Mm. Have you ever done sort of like screen printing? No, I haven't done that, but that is one of the things that the the channel do. Mm. You know, they do do a screen printing, and it's it's really yeah, it's, it's quite it's, cool. I loved it, but it was so hard because you used to get I don't know what fabric it was, but it was sort of like what's the stuff that like you can a muslin, car- isn't yeah. It? yeah, and you sort of carve it out, and then you print it, and then you carve another layer and print it, and you can print on so many different layers. Yeah, but it's all again printing, and then doing it is. This. It's like the old fashioned way. It of is. Printing, the, it, there's a, it. a simpler um, sort of like way where people use stencils, mm. so you can use stencils. And, and build up a picture but you like waiting for each layer to yeah. dry and stuff yeah. like that so if someone wants to get into that i would start with stenciling mm. and then uh, see mm. you know see how they go if they like it i know a simpler way photoshop <laughs> make your own print it out done am i helping nice. yeah lovely simon <laughs> so what what got you into crafts what was your like inspiration to say right i'm gonna go into crafts because um, she's an accountant at first, wasn't you? Yes, yeah. Um, so I was, um, well, I've always done crafting, um, as a, you know, when I was little. And mum taught me how to knit. Nan taught me how to crochet. Wow. So I used to start, um, like, doing that. I used to make Nan all of these knitted toys, love her. And um, when when she passed away and we were sorting out her house, she kept, kept them all. Yeah. They're all of there. They're so That sweet. won't happen with those koi fish. No, I bet. <laughs> You chuck them the day after. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> no, go on, carry on. Um, so, yeah, so it's, you know, it's it's been from there. Um, but and that's then... all come back in fashion again now, hasn't oh, it? Oh, my like, gosh, Tilly yeah. Now, like, yeah, she loves, she loves it. Loves and, it. And, loves I, oh, I know, she does. And she does those beautiful like frames, doesn't she? Love her with. Well, she's been on reefs. the she's been on the show about her reefs. Yeah. Actually, we're going to have a give her another show, and we dedicate to her reefs. Oh, Re- reef it out. Reef it out. <laughs> company. Yeah. Oh, I love her. But she loves it. She yeah. loves them. Mm. No, no, she's gorgeous. And, you know, they all, if, when they're, like, as you know, when they come around, they all like, st- they're stamping and stuff like that mm. with me, don't they, all the time. Mm. Ted loves that. Mm. But yeah, so it started off um, with that. And then um, as I got older, um, I, I was seeing, um, like, you know, lots of, well, I see lots of people. There was this woman called Dawn Bibby, and she was on QVC at the time, and she was, like using paper crafts and I thought well, I'm you know quite fancy having a go at that and I was getting married at the time and uh I just brought like my invitations and they cost an absolute fortune mm-hmm. and I thought oh my gosh you know I could have made them myself so I'd started to get into the paper craft and that just kind of like flew do you know mm-hmm. what I mean I got into stamping and then I got into the mixed media um and then it's just kind of gone from there but I still do all of the the different crafts hmm. um and you know the 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 idea to actually do it as, um you know as a as a career on on tv it was because we me and sally had our shop um and you know we were we were doing lots of things and people were coming in and saying oh are you on creating craft or are you on the craft store or hmm. are you on? and i'm like no actually no you should do it you should do it so um i got in touch with them and they asked me to send a video in of me like you know demonstrating something and then they come that's when they come back for the screen test mm. and then that that was it, it was oh, i was of, about to ask how you got into yeah there, actually. yeah so, so how many times are you up there then how many times do you have um, at least once a month um at the moment it's um i'm doing three shows my next one's fifth of june mm-hmm. so that'd be three shows for um graphic 45 um but when i was up there last time um i kind of had a meeting with someone and they want to get me in to do more of the tv and more of the um social media filming as well so yeah so it should be a the lot graphics more. 45 ever contact you directly? oh yeah yeah no yeah. I, um, they, they invite you to america no they haven't yet <laughs> but if they listen to this where I'd are they like from in america um i'm just trying to think i knew you were going to ask me that and i'm i'm i can't think they're texas based um no. i'm not sure they might be they might be know. why she wants she's got the idea of moving to austin texas <laughs> why not with you. We've not even been. No. 
not on her own. <laughs> we've not even been. We've not even been on holiday there. It's, a bit, it's, it's the new London, apparently. Oh. It's the new. It's where you build your businesses. It's it's meant to be the new London. So. Hmm. <laughs> Let go out and see if she can do it. And join her when she's a millionaire. Hey. No, I'll say no to that. Yeah, like, no, actually, I've got a family out here now. <laughs> Sends the kids. So you're even she not, you're not even taking over. the kids with you. Oh, we go on holiday and see what it's like. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, so dear. do you get nervous when you're on TV then? No, no, not at all. I, I thought I would. Um, I think the first time that I did it, um, I was like in the green room and I thought, what are you doing? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then I just got on there and then it was like it was home. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was that's that's how it was. And I no, I don't get nervous at all about it. The only time I get a bit nervous if it's a release that I'm doing that's mine. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Because that is like, is everyone going to like no this? No one's bought yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is anyone going to like this? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. stuff like that. But I've been really, really lucky and people have been brilliant. So Yeah. So did you get a commission from that? Yeah. How much? I'm not telling you. <laughs> she forget. Why are you planning your birthday present? Thinking, what can I get her to get me? It's like the terrible podcast set range. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a microphone. It's got a cup with a stupid saying on it. Hey. It's, it's got Rachel hitting thing. the mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drinks bottle whacking down yeah. on the table. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's <laughs> the only time I get, you know, nervous really if it's uh, if it's something like that, but mm. you know, I I couldn't sell anything that I didn't like. Mm. Because I think people would tell because you know when I'm, you know, you've got like, you got a bit of passion. Yeah. yeah. Um so, you know, with with graphic 45 it's absolutely stunning stuff, so do yeah, you have to keep all. up with like new and trending techniques and skills? Yeah, and you do. Like There's different things, you know, that come out all of the time. Um, and, you know, away from sort of like doing um, the demonstrations and stuff, I'm still like an avid like crafter myself. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I, you know, I like definitely like with the resin type things. There's a new resin now that's water based. Oh, right. And it's like a stone type feel to it. And it's really, you know, it's amazing. Mm. And so that I've I've been trying. And I've also tried another one that's a stone based one as well. Right. <laughs> now I'm just trying to ask, I'm just trying to work out what's the other one based then? Is it oil based resin? Uh, the, the resin is. Um... I see, I, I want to play with resin. Yeah. But I just don't, I've got so many ideas with resin. Well, got the resin you can uh, like you know yeah you can have she's a go. saying no <laughs> you, listen to you, you can have a go anyway. you can have a go but i mean i i you know like resin tabletops and stuff like that yeah. i think you know they're really good to... yes but this isn't the type type of thing to do in the kitchen and just go oh by the way i've just spilt it on the couch like, imagine this rach i can come make off. i can make a frame mm. that's this and i could replace this with resin and it'd be see-through it have all stuff inside yeah because it. we want everyone to see all the cables and shit under I'm just giving you an example I'm not literally going <laughs> to you, you could build this up and then you could put cherry wood productions inside it and then it's, encase it in resin mm, we could have a new sign for next year because that sign I think it's worse for wear no but way next year so January we'll have a brand new sign you can uh, look into yeah. that for us uh, what one that isn't going to fall off the wall this well time? I don't know it should, it's our thing isn't it mm. so it's got to be quite strong <laughs> I'll make you one from resin Will it break? No. Okay, but it needs to be not clear. Otherwise, people won't read it. <laughs> no, but you add you things add to resin. To it. So you, you can add mica Put stuff powders. inside it. You can add mica powders to resin. You can add, like, um, special um, paints to, to resin okay. as well. So you can colour it. This is what I want you to do with it. Mm. What? <laughs> I want it to be of reasonable size. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So make a resin box, a mm. box for to pour the I resin, love, and then the put the letters he's inside he's it. He's like, right, make a box. Is this is what you can do. <laughs> resin, resin letters inside as well. Oh, no, just letters. letters in the Cherrywood podcast goes inside. You pour the clear, clear resin over the top. Uh-huh. How do you keep them still? How do they not move around? Just pour you, slowly. You can. Um, I, I use this stuff called gel medium. It's like my glue of choice. It does absolutely everything. You can add it to paints. You can stencil with it. You use it as like a glue. It will hold everything. Because lots of people used to demonstrate with the hot glue guns. Yeah. And with the hot glue guns, they're absolutely fine um, because you get like that instant stick. Mm. You have to be careful not to burn yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but um, after a while, 
um, where they so hard it goes brittle oh, and then right. things will start to snap off. Yeah. Whereas the gel medium, because it's got that gel in it, they have got flexibility mm. to them. So mm. they tend to stay put, you know. I find with glue guns as well, you glue it and then you've got all like the string. You have, <laughs> yeah. If you, like To do that, like just run your heat gun over mm. it and then it'll melt the... I burn my hands quite a lot on that stuff. Yeah. Because I think it's going to be the temp- <laughs> I think it's going to be the temperature of candle wax, but it's no, not. It's not. It's absolutely brutal. Because yeah. Tilly uses it and mm. comes down and goes, Ah, oh, look, look. <laughs> she's got like all these oh, marks so much. She like, comes down it. looking like Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. Love her. I'm like, well, I did tell you. She went, I know, I know. <laughs> so that's yeah. your second thing. So you've got the, the crafty, media y stuff, you've got the embroidery bits, mm. and you said there's other stuff. Didn't you? you said there was something else, didn't you? What are you doing? No. Oh, well, you said you do a number of different crafts. So um, I'm going through your number of different crafts. <laughs> oh, right, okay. So, I wasn't even taking the piece. Yeah, so then the other thing is is like commissions. So it will be like commission of um, a piece of artwork. Oh, someone else should be, do yeah. something. Yeah, right. yeah, a commission on... Um, like embroidery, so it's all the all the different techniques that I do. Would you like just to take us through one of your commissions? <laughs> what was the best one that you had? That you thought, oh, right. Why are you laughing? Yeah, no, okay. So I had a um, a commission. It was because I do um, upcycle in furniture as well. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, so when when we had our shop before COVID, we had um, I did some of uh, these drawers, um, and they were just a, a really like horrible white kind of set of um, two sets of drawers, really thin. And I got some, um, it's like a paper, but it's got like a, um, a flocking over it. Yeah. So it's like, it feels like, uh, like fuzzy, but you know, it's like, oh, a, like, like a furry. Felt, yeah. Like a felt yeah, yeah. to it. Is so it a nightmare I, to stick on? No, oh, right. it wasn't actually. It's um, not a flocking hell then to do. <laughs> it was flocking easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, uh, you would cover like, with paper on the top of the um of the drawers and like the fronts of the drawers and, and newspaper. Like Am I thinking you use like old style newspaper? You can do. You can <clears> do <throat> if you want to do sort of like um, you know, decoupage and stuff like that. Mm. But this was like I wanted each of the drawers to be unique and it was in like um a, a natural colour, but with black and white, mainly black and white. And mm. then I put some like different um handles on it and everything. Mm. And well, this woman fell in love with them. And she's like had like this um, blanket box that she wanted done in a similar style. So she built that in, and we did that. But I've done um, oh. <coughs> different stalls. I've done um, like you know pieces of artwork. We have had the artwork like on the walls, and people would buy it, and then they would say, "Can Why you?" Am I do- <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then okay. you know you would then people would see that and say can you do me that mm. in different colors but I'd, I'd never do anything exactly the same because mm. i think something like that you know it's it's nice to have something that's unique mm. but um yeah but w- no it's absolutely tons and tons of things and one one time someone come in and they had um this model and it was of this um bloke sitting at a desk with different computers around him and like a cap on and you know and it was sort of like meant a lot to him mm. and he wanted me to recreate it so that was pr- pretty good because then I like, had to get all the different things to try and sort of like marry it in but it makes you think because you can use certain certain bits you know that I had that you can use um it was like this upside down sort of like cage mm. I used that as the bin do you right, know what I mean yeah. just do you see what I mean it's yeah, like I, things I, like that I like the um the men that are made of nuts and bolts. Yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I wonder where but you're then going. The drummers and the yeah. bands. I mean, and, one of yeah. our biggest sellers were the top hats, you know, yeah, the, with the, the steampunk was the a thing. Steampunk. Yeah, top, steampunk. Yeah, sort of gears on them and things Yeah, like that. we used to do lots of steampunk th- fairs and we used to decorate uh, the hats and everything like that. That's a big thing, isn't it? It's huge. Absolutely So where's huge. it come from, really steampunk? Like um, the steampunk is kind of like... When I think of steampunk, I think of like Jules Verne, where it's like futuristic yeah. but Victorian. But also Victorian, mm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, you've got like the mixture of both, and but it can be anything. I just wonder I mean. what where it came from. What? Well, it's big in America, but one of the biggest places um, is Australia. Oh, that okay. it's big yeah. in, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a one steam. There's only one sort of steampunk film I can think of, mm. and that was the yeah, Wild Wild West, the Will Smith. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're very yeah. similar. Mm. Yeah. It's old yet modern. It is, right. yeah. And I've not watched like it. I don't, I don't think I've even Victorian seen the film. Kind of Victorian gowns and stuff yeah, like that. But, yeah. but then but it's um, it's as nautical well. as well. Yeah. So you get mm. like, um, you know, the octopus and you get all of like the, right. the old sort of like um, diving helmets yeah. and stuff like that, which are really kind of big with it but it's it's one of my favorite sort of like themes mm. and then we used to sell so much um you know different things that i'd made of that um but it, it was good i mean we used to when we were in birchington there was a local art thing as well that we used to do every year and put pieces in there and you know sally said oh should we like because i think you could do up to three or four pieces i think it was um so she said um let's let's put like uh, four pieces of your artwork in there and I'm like oh no one's do you know what I mean because you don't when you're doing it yourself you think no one's gonna thingy mm. that but um in the first year then I, I'd sold two pieces of it right so it was um yeah it was really good and we used to do that each year and we'd always sell you know always sell That's Canterbury in it is that the um, Canterbury no, shop no no oh we are we have got stuff in the Canterbury shop oh we've still got that yeah, one going yeah yeah there's a uh, war um Warus and oyster it's called and it's um yeah in Canterbury and we know the road no I think it's in the the um, shopping centre, though. Mm. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, Sally goes there and stocks up. Um, we've still, I think we've still got a few hats in there. Right. So Sally's my other sister. Things. So yeah. if you see a witch-looking person, they're grey hair, miserable-looking. Simon! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so horrible. I love being horrible to Sally. No, she's lovely. <laughs> she's lovely, but, yeah, grey hair. <laughs> Uh, not here today. Go, not here today because she chose chose yoga over yeah. supporting you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just getting that in there. What you can yeah. see and how many times you can get in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, if she, if she <laughs> didn't, if she turned up, I wouldn't give her as much yeah. stick. But you what was funny about Sally is that she, um, when we first did, like she's like, oh no, you know, uh, like. Whatever, right? You just do it, and I'll, and I'll, I'll sell, sell it. it. Now she's doing. And now it. she's like starting to. I said, Sally, have you got a craft room? No. She goes, oh, I haven't. And I said, Well, what are all these things around here in your room? She's like, Stuff to look at. <laughs> <laughs> but then when I go around to her house, I find another piece of their artwork that should have been in the shop that's up on her wall. <laughs> <laughs> because you have to have a little bit of creativity in it mm. to be able to do it. Because you can't just sort of sit there and go. You know, like like you have to be inspired by something, right? Yeah, I, I mean, mean, anything can inspire you. I mean, when I started embroidery, then um, I started embroidering uh, like um, flowers, mm. and then every time I looked at a flower, I saw it in stitches. Yeah, you yeah. know, so you get like you you sort of like, if you really really love something, then it kind of comes to you. Mm. All of, like the inspiration comes to you from anywhere, really. Because mm. you did a course in embroidery, embroidery, didn't you? I've done a few, like yeah. a crash course type thing, and you got you had to um, pass it and stuff. Yeah, Am I right. Um, what was that all about? Yeah, that was. Um, in, I think it was 2021. Um, God, was it that long ago you yeah, did that? Yeah, yeah. 2021, it was um, the uh, School of Stitch Textiles. Right. And I did... The, God, that's um, hard to say when you're drunk, isn't it? Yeah, the School of Stitch Textiles. See, I can't, can't say, say it anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and that was um, a Sydney and Guilds um, like diploma. So I got that. And then um, Hand and Lock, which um, are the people that do... Um, the royal that they've got a royal warrants. So they do lots of different things for big clients and the and the royal family. Mm. Um, when it was the um, the uh, king's coronation, you know, they did a lot of the thing. They did I know they did Camilla's shoes and, mm. and everything like that. Um, I started to take courses with them, and I've well, I've done about six or seven with them now, and um, I've got another seven this year. So wow. yeah, mm. and they're so, online based, or do you have to go and physically? Um, one be of them in the I'm physically going to, um, which is um, a, like a military type style one, and it's in like uh, the ha- household cavalry. Oh. Um, yeah, so we're actually going there, so you can see mm. how it's how used they, and everything, yeah, yeah. and then you've got like a class on it. But most of them are by Zoom, mm. so they're small classes um, by Zoom, and um, I mean you get. I love that because you get to chat to people all over the world, mm. you know, so they're like they're everywhere and everyone has got such a passion mm. like for it. Um, but it, it's well worth doing. So I'll, I'll give um, um, Lucy um, a shout out. Lucy Martin. She's. Uh, Hi, Lucy. She's, yes. She's brilliant. So right. She's my tutor. Do you want to give a shout out to your two men in your life that you work for as well? Yes. Um <laughs> And their business. Yeah. So they, I also, because like we were saying about the accountancy before, I don't I do not do accountancy so much now. I do more um, bookkeeping because um, I want to concentrate on the craft side. But um, I work um, for a company 
called ContraWorks and they do all of your different cycle parking um, and they do, you know, like, so you've got like the bike racks. So like and, a design. Yeah. That, yeah so so the, the funky looking bike racks. Yeah. And also uh, street furniture. So they right. do like the wood and the, they do the steel furniture. So they're, yeah. they're like steel manufacturers. Yeah. So they can do canopies. I mean, some of the things. Oh, they I like do. them. They taste lovely, don't they? So they do all sorts like that. But they are two of the most loveliest people that you can ever meet. Yeah, I don't know if I've met them. I might have met one of them. I've definitely um, sent one a picture. Yeah, you sent them a video of you dancing naked with in front of Rachel. And I've not even met him? No. Where was How that did that come across? Goes? It's because I sent them a picture of you dressed in mum's nighty when you were supposed to be looking after her. <laughs> I don't even remember yeah, that. Because, like, they, they, like, you know, I said, if you want to know what my brother's like, there. Right. So, uh, yeah, so they That's when you had a broken but... wrist, Rach. Did I strip for you when you had a broken arm or wrist? You always break oh. in your arms and wrists. Yes. And yes. And I filmed I was, it. I was mm. like, like that. And you were like, oh, I've come to tea. <laughs> yeah. And they've also seen the video of you doing the exercise for mum with her crunches and stuff oh, like right. that. <laughs> but no, um, Dave and Ricardo um, are like controversial. They're brothers? No, they're cousins. Oh, they're I cousins. They were... They're South African and they're cousins. And yeah. they are the loveliest people you can ever meet. All right, let's get them on the show. Bring yeah. a bike rack with them. <laughs> Up the stairs. Yeah. You you should do. Yeah. Get them do to the weld in here, knock out all the power. <laughs> we'll be like... It's all a light. All yeah. Cat, cool light. But they absolutely adore mum as well. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Bless them. Oh. They're always um, sending her different bits. Bad judge of character then, aren't they? Love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm like lucky with uh, with where I'm working at the moment. And mm. because they're really supportive of um, like the, the TV work. So they let me, you know, work and, and do my work. Whenever I like want to do, it, if you like, mm. um, so that it it fits around that. So you're not just throwing sickies then and going up to Peter Bowes no, to film. No, I'd never do that to my boys. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, sorry, I'm sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. by the way, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen Tilly. <laughs> I've just seen Tina on the uh, Channel 85. My um, throat seems fine. So when new people want to get into this, is there any advice or anything you would give new people to sort of say, start off this way and try your brand your up or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I mean, I would say that, you know, think about what they're most interested in because what I find a lot with, um, you know, paper crafting, we, we're all so excited about it that you, you sort of like buy this, 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 and this, and then, you know, then you think actually, you know, things are coming out all the time. So if I could sort of like go back to myself, um, you know, God knows how many years and say, this is what you can really do mm. with, then that's, you know, then I would say that. So, you know, so limit just have a, kit yeah, almost. limit yeah. your kit and like have, you know, and then make sure it's something that you really want to do. But most of the time, I mean, it is huge. It is a huge, huge business. I mean, we went to um, Doncaster. Um, where they have like you know the craft fairs and stuff like that and I was demonstrating at one there um, and they were actually filming and doing the tv from mm -hmm. there as well and it was absolutely huge and and getting to meet people was, was fantastic you're saying autographs aren't you I was yeah <laughs> <laughs> why why people would like that I don't know but <laughs> and photos and stuff like that but then I guess it's the same as everything if it's something that you they're want into it, you know they're into I mean? it they're into it yeah. do you remember we filmed a wedding once and there was a woman from and you weren't even on a craft channel mm. back then and there was a woman that was on a craft thing I don't know if you was at the wedding Rach oh yeah I knew who she they was, probably got a I decent was, photographer oh, that day probably <laughs> and um yeah I was filming it and one of the guests there was I think she did. She do what you did. Was she a demonstrator? Yeah, she was. Yeah. And then I rang you up and said, "I've got someone here from the craft channel. I think you might know her." And you knew her, didn't you? Yeah, and you I had did. A chat yeah. With her. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you're it now. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh, yeah. I have to get people to ring you. And <laughs> you. you don't even ring me. <laughs> he doesn't even do birthday no. cards now. Oh. I'm, I'm like, right. You do know it's your sister's birthday, and he's like. I love you, oh, Rach. I, I love, love you, you. Rach. <laughs> yeah. I'll do did it you then. get my birthday card? This last one. Yeah. It's good, wasn't it? It was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah. What did it say? It, it's like your brother. Also. Yeah. This is like, um, happy birthday from the best thing your parents ever gave you. 
<laughs> he doesn't even She's know. It. Like I say, all the stuff I say, she just loads the gun, I fire it. I know, I don't think it's her behind It is her behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. Look, he can take it, you know, if he gets into trouble, he's like, oh, oh sorry. I'm like, Simon, how could you yeah. say that? It's about when the one who goes Darren, anyway, Darren's my husband. What did I do for What him? did you do, Darren? Well, you, it, started, it said things, but it had a W to start with and an R to start with at the bottom, and then the first oh, letters were uh, highlighted. All oh, right, that's good. Let's get that one for Robbie, he hates that word. <laughs> Yeah. I think we got him a t-shirt once that had an anchor. W and an anchor. Yeah. No, they got it for me, didn't they? No, oh, no, they got, got me a bell you. end, didn't yeah. they? <laughs> a bell and then end on it. Not very nice, is it? No. And we also got him a pepper t-shirt, yeah. which I don't think he's ever worn. We need to get we need to get that out of him, don't we? Oh, he hates peppers. Like, hates peppers. Oh. Like, when, like when, bell peppers. When I was in hospital, Jem said, I'm going to make you soup and blah, blah, blah. And she said, I've come down. She gave it to me. It was really good soup, wasn't it? And uh, she said, Rob texted on the way back and went, I can't come into the house because the house smells of peppers. <laughs> it was that. Bell peppers, absolutely um, <laughs> he freaks. He had to close the kitchen door and he was going, no. when yeah. he go into the house? Anyway, that's a different thing. They yeah. don't even yeah, know who they are. We'll have hmm? to get Rob in. There's a couple more saying. things that I did. Um, want to say? Yeah? Is that all yeah, right? of course yeah. you can. Um, there is, um, if you go... <laughs> Just cut it off. Yeah. It's a walk up yeah. to the camera. Yeah. Oh, I'm still saying I just it. Yeah. I, just, I just edit it out. It'd oh, be no. hilarious. There's a couple no. of things I want to say. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. No, if, oh, um, if people like YouTube and stuff like that, then yeah. there's um, two YouTube things. There was a Make It Monday with Tina. Um, Have you got a YouTube channel? Um, it's the Create and Craft one. Oh, oh right. right. Okay. Yeah, so they can watch different things on there, which, you know, um, like uninterrupted if you like so that's yeah. that's good and then there's one which is um ready steady craft which i do with one of the presenters adam right and okay. that is hilarious he's funny though isn't he? oh yeah we bloke. get on so so well yeah. they call we have him, to get him on the show him, yeah they call him my tv husband yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to get him over here will he come over here uh, he might do yeah he's not from this way though is he no he no from? he's well he's an hour from there um well, north north i think oh was he yeah well far from there where he came over right mm. Um, but no, he'd, he'd love it. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, uh, do they have Instagram? Yeah, uh, they're on Instagram. Do you have Instagram? So, yeah, I'm on Instagram. Mine is um, Tina Barnett Embroidery um, on Instagram. And I think it's our art sale on there as well. But we have another, going back to like the steampunk, we have Steampunk Heaven. And that's got like about 12,000 Members on Facebook. Now on Facebook, mm. yeah. Yeah, steampunk heaven. <laughs> yeah. I, I always say it. I don't know why I say it again. Like, no one can understand what you're saying. Like really but I do it in a like, Jeremy Clark. Oh, yeah. Steampunk <laughs> heaven. Steampunk heaven. So, have you got any new ideas coming up or new projects that you're working on? Yes, yes, I do. Um, I'm working on something that's um, using recycled clothes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that's, that's something that's going to be new and that's. Um, that's with embroidery and it's also with mixed media. Do as you well. need any? Jeans. Oh, so I've got, got loads, loads that I've jeans. grown out of. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like a five. Yeah. Since you were Actually, young. Yeah. Oh, skinny jeans. Yeah. You know, I could get into them once. I can't get into them these days. Oh, babe. Well, you're nearly Because I've got an ankle though. injury, and I? Oh. <laughs> okay. And so, so is Dean Gaffney. I had a good <laughs> chat with Dean Gaffney the other day yes. about um, ankle injury. I said, please be a Hercules injury when it is. I said, come with me, Dean. <laughs> so they both limped in <laughs> together. <laughs> did. I said, I was six months. He went, oh, please don't tell me it takes six months. I said, but no, it's still not fixed after six Aww. months. Yeah. Oh, Bless well. Him. Mm. But do you want to give everyone your details of she's how they can find you? you? No, but she's on social media, all your channels and everything. Yeah, like that, so, so it's Tina Only Barnett fans. on Facebook or it's Art Salvation on mm -hmm. Facebook. There's Tina Barnett Embroidery, and there is, uh, I've got a website as well, which is um, Tina Barnett Embroidery.co.uk. Do you have an OnlyFans account? No, OnlyFans. Oh, God, you're so innocent. <laughs> you're so innocent. <laughs> no, but you can do you, that. OnlyFans was designed for crafting, so yeah. look, up, look up OnlyFans. No, oh. don't, don't. No, no. <laughs> Is that something rude? No. It no. is now. <laughs> OnlyFans is not rude. This is the <laughs> this is the thing. OnlyFans is similar to like a YouTube channel. People subscribe to you. Yeah. Um, to watch your craft shows and things like that. So get yourself an OnlyFans. Why account. are you like trying not to laugh? Well, though? it's turned out it's it's now been overrun by sex workers. Sex, sexy <laughs> things. Apparently, I've just had to do yeah. my research. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like honestly, you. it's been overrun with you. No, it's not just. Um, <laughs> Imagine him having an OnlyFans. But if you said OnlyFans to someone, they'd think you're talking about someone showing their body and that. But OnlyFans, OnlyFans has crafting. That's bits how on it, it started out, and that, yeah. that you can still get stuff on there. Mm. Like when we yeah. say to a few um, craft people, and they went, "Oh, I started but, on OnlyFans. I've done this," and we're like, "Oh no!" What? But if you were to say to people, "I've got an OnlyFans channel as well," they'd be like. <laughs> oh, sorry, you wanted me to actually get one so that that would happen. People can laugh at it. Lovely. <laughs> but it, it's weird. It's like people get paid to show their feet. It's oh, weird yeah. things like that. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. fetish. Feet yeah. fetish, fetish and stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it's... it might be a craft fetish. I'm a... <laughs> if you use your feet. Craft of your feet. Oh, <laughs> You'll do birds in one stone. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Do you two oppose? <laughs> Right, that I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Say bye, bye, Tina. Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> we never say bye usually, right. do we? I don't know what we do. We just usually bye. linger bye. And, and then, then linger. Yeah. Say bye. Pinch. Another 10 minutes. Say bye again. Another 10 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. All right, that's it. We're going now. Bye bye. bye. That's my sister, that is. We look exactly the same as well. Damn it. This podcast has been brought to you by Snug Dubs, Camper Van Hire. Roam the world, park anywhere. That's snugdubs.co.uk. This podcast was brought to you today by Austin's Eatery on Station Road Strood. Try the Viking Challenge 